Storm Chasers, we are back with another episode of Soul Connection with the lovely Dr. Linda Salvin. How are you today? I'm just fine, sexy Storm. <laughs> I know, hear a lot of women are after you again. A lot, a lot of women, a lot of men, everybody wants <laughs> me, except the person Humans. I want to actually want me, but that's okay too. <laughs> it's always that way. It's always that way. We attract people like flies or repel certain people. And then the one your heart wants is like, oh, go away. Or they don't even know you're alive, but then you got all the others coming at you. So who's like on your case this week? Because I know something's going on. I can see it in your eyes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I mean, the... The one and only Tasha K, of course. Um, that you know. person again. Okay, what's the latest on her? So so she talked a lot of shit about me a few days ago, and I didn't really know why, but apparently she was trying to distract from her court case. Her court case? Wait, wait, wait. Now, your listeners may or may not know, I'm not real big on the YouTube yes. circuit. Drama. I'm not real big in your world. I talk to you like... Well, I've always said I'm old enough to be your grandmother, but we did become friends and people think we're having an affair. And I'm like, no, 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 we're not, but we're good friends. And you've mentioned her along the way is harassing you online. And I know she's had her own show. Yeah, let's see. Oh, okay. And I believe a year ago, I made a comment about her husband or something about her marriage and that she was going to lose things. So let's I don't let, really let me, follow. Let, I don't I'm know. Gonna, so fill in the blanks and let me yeah, hear. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna fill you in. You've made predictions along the way. So you said that she was gonna have major changes to her show, and then that came true, and then that came to pass. And then you said that her marriage was not gonna work out. And you is know, she they, the one who gave her husband permission to date? Well, yeah. Well, she already said she doesn't want to have sex with her husband, so he can have sex with whomever. That they have that. <sighs> She doesn't Great like marriage. having. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, want to get married, so I can have a lot of sex. I don't want to sleep around. Go on. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, she doesn't like having sex with him. But the interesting oh thing is, you Maybe said that good. they were going to separate. Now, what we just learned as of yesterday, she had a bankruptcy court hearing. Simultan simultaneously in the bankruptcy court hearing, which she was confronted for breaking the law, she also got confronted by an IRS agent at the same time. Oh my God. So I'm, I'm going to break it down for you. So we learned that for the last few years, Tasha Kay and her husband have actually been filing married but separate. And they didn't do that before. Okay. I don't know all the laws, but if they're filing married but separate, even though they've been married, that's a lie. That's fraud, right? Yes. Are they filing? Are they also... Um, not... Uh, what are they like? Hiding money offshore or something? Yes. Well, she was... She was confronted about moving her assets to Africa. Illegally. Oh, okay, because I got something offshore. Okay, go on. This is getting juicy. Go on. Yeah, yeah. so she's moved her money to Africa. She and um, she she filed bankruptcy, of course, said she couldn't pay her bills. And it, uh, it was- 7, 11, or 13, do you know? Because the filed, 11 would be the corporation. She, no, no, no. She filed chapter 11, but the issue is right after she filed- No, no, no. Right after the judgment came down from Cardi B, she owes Cardi B $4 million. Okay, so, oh, so right after <laughs> it, okay. gets worse. it gets worse. So right after that judgment came down, she dissolved her business, which is illegal. Yeah, because they can't. She's trying to hide everything like it didn't exist. Then, then filed can... bank, then filed bankruptcy and said she had no money. Then on top of that, she's claiming to only make three thousand dollars a month, and her husband makes twenty three thousand dollars a month. But the truth is how many thousands a month between she them? actually makes about a hundred thousand plus a month. Doing what? Being on YouTube? Um, from YouTube sponsorships, yeah, and then her app. And actually, back in the day, a couple years ago, she made between seventy to a hundred and seventy thousand dollars on YouTube and only had to upload videos like four times a month. Wow. Okay, so she, and now she's hiding all that like it didn't exist. Put it all over in Africa. Well, that's not going to go too well because YouTube's not dumb. IRS isn't dumb. CPAs aren't dumb. Bankruptcy attorneys aren't dumb. Who is she trying to fool by doing all of that? And it caught up to her and it's like, oops, she got caught. Now what's going to happen? Boy, what a lie and deceit. She's going to go. She might go to jail. I nice they, they said it was a possibility and you predicted that. A I while did. 
I did. We were talking a long time ago and I just said, it feels like something's going to go wrong. She might even go to jail. And now this sounds like I'm getting chills. And you know, when you get chills, you break out like in little goosebumps because you're telling the truth. And that's this confirmation of spirit. I think she's going to really go down, but on a, besides all her problems and the multi-millions and losing her husband and losing the show, uh, what's the bone to pick about you? Is she just jealous? Does she want to sleep with you? Does I, she want you to come down off your perch? Cause she doesn't want competition. I don't I get don't, it. I, I don't, I don't get it either. I think she felt slighted because I ended the relationship and she wasn't able to end it. I went no contact and narcissists hate that. They hate when you go no contact. They love the drama. They love the back and forth, or they want to feel like they ended the relationship. They don't, you know, she feels like she's not in power because I cut her off. And so the, the stalking didn't work and the trash talking didn't work and trying to trash my name didn't work. And people are still on my side. They were, yeah, happy, they they were happy when I got away from her. You know, Storm, I've told you for three and a half years when you've come to me privately about some of the, not just this person with Tasha, but other talk show hosts on the YouTube platform that would attack you, berate you, scare you, threaten you, stalk you, um, which is all part of the celebrity wheel game anyway. I've had it happen to me in different ways when I was on FM radio back in the old days before the internet platforms, but I've been through similar and it's painful. It's ugly. It's frightening. You lose sleep. It's anxiety provoking, but this one doesn't let you go. And I don't know what her, it's like a chisel. She's got to keep digging and digging and hitting and hitting and create something out of storm and roll. That means nothing except it boosts her ego or something on her, um, platform that she thinks she's going to draw more listeners but they read right through her i don't even know her and i can read right through her you know what, what, what do you think you're hey you're the psychic i'll let you read <laughs> what do you think her well, they say is? i think i i i i want to think i want to i believe she's a lesbian or she's bisexual just by looking at some of the pictures in her body language number one you see her um with a very strong power thing but like on the right hand side where we're seeing her in the yellow dress where it says unwind with uh, Tasha K, the feeling is she's posed like this. I can do a photo shoot too with a, but I don't feel the love or sincerity or um, passion inside. I think it's all for show. There's a, I mean, that's celebrity. Most is for show and the attention you don't get at home or growing up or whatever. Some even have talent and they deserve it. I don't know that this lady has talent. Apparently the world thinks so. If she made that much money monthly. She does. On, she's good at what she does. No, she Okay. Is. I'm not yeah. going to slide her. To, I just don't know. But she's, but what happens is the ego takes over and that's edging God out. And I told you a long time ago, go for it. Have a lot of fun. Build, build, build. But remember, there's that ego and you want to balance your ego with the fame and fortune and the recognition. You still have to stay humble and loving. There's it's hard because it gets exciting and you're on that. Wow. Look at all these people. You can be around a thousand million people and still go home alone. True. So here she's got a world based uh, audience and fans, but she can't even keep her man. She doesn't want to have sex with her own man. Why did she marry him? Did she outgrow him? Does he not have a big enough member? No, he does. No, he does. It's huge, actually. Oh, you've seen it? Okay, I'm glad. Okay, you can testify. <laughs> so that would be pretty satisfying. So it's not him, it's her. So we yeah. got to figure out what's really wrong with her, but nothing is enough for her. But, but she loves is, to keep women around. She loves to well, be that's around That's why I said, I think women. she's more of a lesbian or bisexual than she is heterosexual. I don't care who sleeps with what or who. It doesn't bother me. I think everybody has a bisexual streak. We all look at each other. We all size each other up. Guys size up guys. Women size up women. If you sleep with them, you sleep with them. You can stand with a, quote, married person, but feel their sexual energy like they're thinking about you sexually. We all pick up on each other. 
What you do to act on it is your business. If you want it, fine. You want to sleep with them, fine. You want to try it, fine. You are, you're not, it doesn't matter. I think part of her problem is she's afraid to admit or, quote, come out with who she truly is. But that's just not what this is. There's karma involved. There's a lot of karma here. And that's a big word. You and I have discussed it in the past, but karma, a lot of times, like a boomerang. What you put out comes back. Yes. So if she's been hurting all these people or ignoring them or rising to the top, but forgetting them and lying on people and lying or now trying to extort or, you know, putting all these millions into African accounts like the Swiss accounts, it's going to come back and haunt you or bite you in the ass. And that's what's happening. Someone found out, somebody leaked, somebody told the truth. Now, She's not only lo- losing her show, losing her husband, losing the house. Now she's being busted for, for, for moving money. And the IRS, you get in trouble with the IRS. That's huge. It's not just, okay, a payment plan, pay it back. <laughs> it's not like a bankruptcy was her way to make it go away. And she tried to make all the assets go away. There's too many people out there that know about her truth. YouTube would be subpoenaed. Yes. 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 They could a lawyer could subpoena YouTube records and they would have to supply, oh yeah, we've paid her blah blah over the last decade or whatever. You can't hide this stuff. And that's just YouTube. God knows who the sponsors were or whatever. Everybody has records. Some people may fudge a little bit. Okay, instead of 500,000, they might put it down as 450 and pocket some. Happens all the time. I don't know what her numbers are, but the truth is there. Now the truth is coming out. Her star has shined. It's done. She's going to fall from grace. That's what is happening. That's part of her ego. That's part of her karma. She climbed over. She stomped on. She tried to extinguish people like you. And it's one thing for fun and competition, like the battle of the psychics. There's always a better psychic in a medium and this show and that show. I went through it from the beginning when we all started Psychic Radio back in the 90s. You know, mm. now I was just listening to some of the Hollywood mediums and how much they charge and are they real? And oh my God, or don't look on the internet. And it's the same thing here. She worked really hard. I'm not disputing her efforts or her talent. But how much pain is she in? How much lying has she done? How much cover up has she done? How much uh, betrayal? Who on the way up did she drop to the curb, step on? Everybody. And now she might be all alone. It's kind of like when somebody's grieving. I want to switch gears for a moment. I know you have another talk show host, and forgive me, I don't remember her name. But you sent her flowers. Yes. Is it this one who started insulting you about the flowers? She didn't insult me about the flower, but right after she got pissed. Why? Why, if you gave your assistant or co-host flowers, would this upset her to make it a show topic? I, I don't, I can't connect it. Why? Mm-hmm. Why is that a topic for her show to insult you for giving somebody flowers? You probably gave her flowers because either she's having a bad day or a breakup or something hurt. It's not a romantic gesture. It was a friendly, loving gesture. Now, I'm going to show your people something. This is a unicorn, right? A very colorful unicorn. Its oh. name is Storm Penny or Penny Storm. We don't really know because he likes to change like his colors. Oh. But where did I get this little unicorn? On March 30th or March 29th, 2022, I had to put my dog down. Penny was her name. I had that dog for 14 years. She was adopted. I had her, they said she was two, so so maybe she was 16 and she was a little waddle. Her feet were like this high. She was half papillon and half dachshund. So she was big and fat and fluffy and long butterfly ears and square twitch like the papillon. Folks, I came home one day and there was a knock at the door and at the door were the edibles, which was the great big fruit bouquet with a balloon and a unicorn. Somebody sent me this. Who? Storm Monroe. <laughs> My own sister didn't send me flowers. 
for that. I got it for when I was sick. But this was just because he knew I lost my dog. Storm had been to my house a month prior and had met the dog. Yeah. Think about it, you know, or it was the year before. I can't even remember. But you had been in town. Yeah, you had been in town. But um, this man has a heart besides other appendages. He's got a heart. <laughs> he cares. But he's fun. And what people forget when we're doing entertainment, it's to keep people on their toes and guessing and throw out some bones that are like, oh, my God, did he or she just say that? Is that really the truth? Or is this gossip? Or like with me, I'm not so much. Well, it's part of entertainment to leave him hooked. But Storm's a good guy. He's a Taurus. He's got a big heart. He can be a bastard like I can be a bitch. We all have both sides. That's why in drama school or in the theater you see the happy sad face of the mask because yeah. it shows both sides of human nature and how we can portray lovely and funny and comical or the sad dark side of life we all have it we've all got like what 20 personalities screaming all day long you don't know who you're going to be at the moment so true but if you sent flowers to your assistant because she was or your co-host because she was having a bad day and then tasha went out to make it a scene okay i'm asking you talk about the goddamn unicorn storm monroe sent me when my dog died. <laughs> i challenge you i'm challenging her i'd love her to come after me i'll bra stop the unicorn <laughs> on the storm monroe show really but what's interesting too is right. that she's she says storm is is is, is fucking i don't know if he's fucking men or women in his garage but he's fucking the preacher and what? Just, who cares who I'm having sex with? Well, number one, who cares? But it's not even the truth. It's just hilarious at this point. It's, I don't think it's the truth. I think I know more kind of who But, here, but here's the for, issue. If, if I was. Who cares? Why is it her topic? Yeah, if I was bisexual, who cares? Nobody cares. You can be trans. You can buy. You can be. I, there's a hundred different labels for sexuality today. You can be nano. You can be metro. You can be whatever. Why is she so obsessed with you? That's what it boils down to. Why is she? So, oh, there's the flowers. Look at those beautiful flowers. She made, you made her day. So pretty, right? Yes. You love color, obviously. <laughs> You're a very colorful guy, but those are beautiful. Oh my god! I know, and apparently, still, it still uh, has some buds on it that have to bloom. So, oh, that'd be great. So she could maybe replant them and keep them going. Yeah. No, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. But you're a giver. When you want to give, you give. Yes. You know, I'm a giver, and more times I'll give than I get. And that's just the way it is. I'm not making millions of dollars. I never have. I don't know if I ever will. It's not maybe my karma, you know, um, or it's still yet to come because there's some pretty cool uh, projects ahead of me that we can yes. talk about some other day. I don't want to open the door yet, but I work hard and I got on this bandwagon a little late in the game, but I'm still moving forward. Everybody's got their moment. But why this woman has to bash you to make her look and feel better is beyond me. But she's lost her husband. She's lost her business. She's filing bankruptcy. She's losing the show. And she's still going to look great in all the designer clothes and purses and shoes as if her shit doesn't smell. Well, it does. Yeah. She probably has a lot, a lot, a lot of bottles and, and cans of air freshener because people are getting tired of her. But yet she's got her groupies or her followers or whatever there's always those that are going to defend somebody there's always well I, I always love how now she's saying you know i'm done i'm never gonna be big i'm never you know my star isn't gonna rise and it's she's like, already had it what more does she want oh she probably wants to be a kardashian no no, no she's talking about me oh that oh. my star is never gonna rise that it's over for me even if it was who cares no but storm all you've done is rise since I've met you. If you remember, folks, let me let me let me let me break his anonymity for a moment. Yeah. I get a phone call during lockdown, just before lockdown. I don't remember. So much yeah. has gone on. We all kind of are fuzzy. 
And I see this name and, and I pick up the phone. I call him and I said, hi, I'm Dr. Linda. Can I help you? Yeah, my name's Storm, blah, blah, blah. I said, how can I help you? I'd like to book an appointment. Okay, fine. Got him on the calendar. He calls. We go over stuff. And I start reading them and giving them predictions like I always do. But I said, how did you find me? So it all started opening up that he was doing research on the Kardashians. And then the Kardashians found Chris. Chris did an infomercial on Wicks of Wisdom. What are Wicks of Wisdom? Oh, it's Candle Magic. I'm into spiritual stuff. Who's behind Candle Magic? Dr. Linda Salvin, who's she? Oh, she does readings. I'm going to call her. So it was the whole trail of digging like he does to do research. And he found me. Through this time, we've established a friendship and a trust in our little world of weirdness. And I, he's done a ton of candles. And um, when he gets stuck, like most people were up against the wall, he'll ask for an opinion or a reading. And I'll kind of give him my opinion. And a lot of it happens. I also said at that time, because I looked at some of his shows, because I, I, I haven't been big on YouTube. I just It just didn't interest me. And I looked and you're jumping on the table and you're getting really like wild. And I thought, no, no, no. <laughs> As a broadcaster that was on FM radio and cable radio long before the video stuff, I said, calm it down a little bit. Come a little more centered and talk to your audience rather than jumping with the theatrics. That started to change. I said, you're going to start growing. Then after a couple sets of candles and calming it down and not being all over the place, I don't care if you're jumping around. It's up to you. And there's moments you still get wild. That's normal. But not like you were three and a half years ago. And then what happened? You hit the next level of YouTube membership or money or prosperity, whatever their levels are. You grew. And you continue to grow. You've got thousands of people. I still have like only hundreds and I don't know how to viral. Anybody out there watching this, you want to help make us viral, please make this go viral because it's so fun too. I, it's, it's, it, I want some. I want some. I really want it. I deserve it. I've been doing this thing since 1994 and nobody knows me yet on, on the platform. But it's working. She is threatened and so is the other guy that's had a few accidents there's other people they've been hit literally and you have not you've had moments of fear you've had moments of threat you've had moments of anxiety you've had moments of like well what do i do but they haven't knocked you over they can't no matter how big that bowling or wrecking ball is you have not fallen you continue to rise and what did i say to you years ago i said the cream always rises and you're still the cream you are. So no matter how much they're attacking and trying to hit you over the head or knock you down with half of this BS or you're screwing a guy in the garage, I mean, come on. And yeah, I don't care who or what you sleep with. You're not hurting anybody. Mm -hmm. Sex is great. Sex feels good. If you're out to rape somebody, insult somebody, abuse somebody, you got a problem. Yes. But when you're having fun or you're just horny or you just need some touch, that's different. When you're really feeling it and you're passionate, there's a big difference. And I've been through both, folks. I've not, I, I, it's not like I'm a little angel here. But you can tell when a guy's literally screwing and effing you versus making love to you. You know the mechanics. You know the feeling. You know the lust versus the love. There's a yeah. whole different vibe. And I'm single. And Damn you're it. single, so go out and fuck your brains. I'm 30 uh, years old. I have keep no going, dude. Yeah. I, it would no. be different if I, was, fun. if I was like cheating on my wife or if I had illegitimate children. Or if you were in a committed relationship and, yes. you know, Susie Q was your one and only squeeze right now, whether or not you were living together, you're not going to screw around on her. You're not going to be that player. You want to play, play, but don't hurt somebody that cares. Exactly. This one, she's married, but doesn't want to sleep with them. All right. Well, maybe she hasn't come out as a lesbian or bisexual or doesn't like men. I don't know. Maybe they fell out of love karmically. Here we can go again. In a karmic relationship, we do outgrow people. You get to a certain level, you go different ways. You don't, um, come together like the braid you got you you got this per can't see me there we go him her or him him her her whoever yeah. somewhere in the middle you can join it yes. you've got things in common plus you have your own life but she's pushed him away 
She's lost her career online. Her, her, her show's down. Now there's a threat of the IRS. I mean, how much lower does she have to go? Karmically, she's getting beat up while beating you and other people up. So it's like the boomerang. It's coming back. Like she may have done a great show, made a ton of money, but now at the top, she's paying the price for it. Is it worth it? Has she lost all that money? Where did all that money go? Where's the house? Where are the cars? Where are the jewels? Where's all her stuff? They started liquidating everything, which you cannot do when you're in the middle of a bankruptcy. No, no, they find out about it. They know everything. There's a paper trail everywhere. Everything. And now, today we got cameras. I mean, you can't even go to the market without being online. I mean, we're there, under there, observation. There's no privacy. Now, what she has to realize is how much did she implicate her husband in all of this mess? That'll come out next. That's probably part of what they're trying to decide or cover up or because the way that i see it the way that i see it she's gonna take the time she's gonna take the time but she's putting it on him like it's his fault and his problem but it was her that made the money and he worked with her and got paid but they tried to funnel it into his account or his name to take it off of her but she was the gold. She she was the worker. She was the money source. It, they, it's, it's, they go. They go. They, can't hide it. They, they said, "Ma'am, do you own an app?" She said, "No." Everybody knows you have an app. <laughs> so then I look, and I actually broke this exclusive. Wait a minute, I'm gonna show you real quick because I broke this. You know, people. Don't, I don't know why other media doesn't like to give me my credit. Jealousy, none, and because you're just online. But nonetheless, um, let's see. Or if it's not on, no, it has to be on. Is it? Yeah. It's okay. karma. It's still a part of karma, though. I don't want to lose that train of thought because Thank karma you. is good and karma is bad. We all get good karma. We all get bad karma. We 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 can fight our way. Tasha Clive. Okay. So no, but she it never said her husband's name up under it. All of a sudden yesterday, it says her name, her husband's name, not her name. His name is Shekna. So what she's trying to say now is her husband owns the app, not her. She's trying to place everybody in front so she looks like she's innocent, but people like you are following it. Lawyers are not stupid. Even when you're doing something to an app, everything's in the algorithm. You can tell when you made an edit. Yes. Somebody who's an app, it, <laughs> who knows how to use apps, they know how to get into the back office or whatever it is on the dashboard. They can see if there was an edit and what date. Everything's recorded. You can't get away with stuff today as easily as you used to. You already have it on record. You might find out who her attorney is or the opposing attorney and say, look, I know she did this and I know she's lying and here's proof. You could be the whistleblower. They won't know where it came from. They would never know. You're not the only one that sees it. Now now let's do math. You see where it says the app has had over 10,000 downloads. Yeah. The entry fee into the app is $12.99 per month. But there's only 176 reviews. Okay, right. so wait, 12 times 10,000, you're looking at millions of dollars right there. Hundreds That's... of thousands of dollars. Where did all that go? To Cash App? <laughs> it go, it goes Is it going to Bitcoin? Where Is did it, it going go? In... Now, 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 let South me, Africa? Let me, let me update some people on some things. She did a documentary a while ago, right, when she was on Patreon. In two days... She made $75,000 from one documentary, a three-part series, but nonetheless, my point is, people, she has the money. It's just hidden or it's under someone else's name. It's not in her name. So she's trying to push herself out of the limelight and off paper trails. It's not she's also work. not refusing to pay her attorneys. Um, and then she's also now suing her attorneys. So Why? The because they didn't help protect her lies because she was dumb enough to hire a criminal attorney in a um, defamation case. It made no sense. <laughs> okay. So you got the $4 million judgment from Cardi B. You got IRS uh, who also figured Stop. out. Now it's all coming back to me. Cause we talked about this months ago when you said, Oh yeah, she's losing to Cardi B. And I remember it. it, it, it yeah. Cause I don't pay attention, but I remember, um, 
making a making a prediction and then you call me and say oh yeah she won she lost to the cardi b thing on it it's like yeah yeah i hear confirmation all the time now it's all coming again okay <laughs> she's gonna get deeper and deeper in the hot water it's yes. gonna be like boiling oil it's gonna be the tar pit she's sinking she's between, not gonna pay cardi back right away she's gonna no. deny she even owes it yeah between the four million dollar judgment the bankruptcy that she has done some stuff illegally, which now she's being reprimanded between the IRS agent who has now said, how does she sleep? I don't know. She said, ma'am, you have some missing filings. Tasha goes, well, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. They said, ma'am, you need to produce these tax returns by July 14th. Are you going to have a few weeks? Yeah. Then they go, ma'am. Well, you, you say you can't pay your bills. You have to, you, I see there you have um, a Louis Vuitton purse. Oh, this is old. Well, how much did you pay <laughs> for it? I don't remember. No, only five thousand for the purse, and if you can probably sell it online. Oh, it's mine. You should probably get five thousand back, or maybe that one was twenty-five thousand. It depends if it has the buckle or not. It's it it's it's a lot. There's one thing to not be able to pay your bills, and I don't make fun of people for that. Let's be clear, because money comes and goes. Yes, it does. That's one thing. But she's got enough. tons of money. I she can't. Has, my has family has she just access. Feels, she just I don't feels, have that kind of money. She's in denial. Her. And she just feels like I don't have to pay the shit. Well, ma'am, you're going to go to jail. Well, she feeling entitled like her essence is so spectacular. See, that's again where there's celebrities. And I have read celebrities in the past and some were really nasty. Some never even paid me. Some I asked for testimony and, the, and it was all over the rag mags and TV and about everything I predicted, marriages, the show. Oh, no, I don't want people to know I go to a psychic. So I don't have the celebrity recognition of some on TV now. When I was doing it like 20 years ago, but I can tell stories. But at this point, I'm not going to name names. I've been through it, but their egos Yes. of entitlement i get that way it's like well can't i just have you know a discount on my haircut i mean you know or um i'll buy something i don't like it and i get half my money back okay but i don't know how to live with bentley's and rolls royces and Twenty thousand square foot homes and butlers i don't know what that's like i don't know what it's like to hop a plane and fly 20 minutes to the next location and land like some people we've heard of you know i don't live like that maybe someday i will before i die i don't know or if i even have that wealth as a single woman and no folks i'm not gay yes i've been proposed to probably eight times in my long life and it never felt right or the one i really wanted to marry he left me it happens but i i, I wait for the one i feel spiritually connected to. And there is one now that I'm just watching unfold. But I've had for myself a 30, a 3000 square foot home. What do you need 20,000 for? I'm in one chair online or at the desk or in my bed or watching TV. And when I'm alone with a dog and a cat and a couple of birds or whatever, yeah, I walk around. It's more to clean. Or yeah. it's lonely because I don't have a party every night. I would have holiday parties, birthday parties. I would fill up the house. And I just had dinner last night with a friend of mine who's a dentist. And she's happily married to a lawyer. She's got her kids and she's got her issues. And we talk as friends and we compare notes. And She's got a gorgeous home. But she's also got a very, very established, wealthy husband that contributes Plus her kids. If I had a home like that as a single, it's not enjoyable because it's lonely with all the space. It really is. So ego edging God out. Yeah, it looks great. Well, come over and celebrate. And then you go home. This woman's got it backwards. She's got to have all the stuff, but she's not admitting how she really feels. So she's blaming the irs or lying to the cops or lying to her friends or lying to her husband but what she's also doing and bashing you she's lying to her followers that got her to where she is i agree 
That is where it all turns around. And I also believe that her uh, her assistant here in the middle mm-hmm. is going to be the one to to, to do her. Take the fall, maybe because she knows so much. Yeah. No. Yeah. Do you see? There's anything? a jealousy. Yeah, I'm looking at the girl in the green. I don't want to know her name. I don't need to. But there's a sneaky, sly jealousy thing going on. I think she had her lips done. Those aren't natural lips, from what I can tell. I think she's had some work done, but um. She will, uh, what's it called? Blow the whistle. Yeah. You're going to hear things. This is by August. I think you're going to have some more information coming out from this one. And we can do a show on that and say, told you so. Something's going to slip up, but you're already sensing it too. They've got beautiful bodies. They've had a lot of work done with lipo and plastic surgery. Not all these people are just born that way. They're just not. They're not gorgeous from this gate. They're just not. But money buys beauty. Beauty and sex sells. I know that. And um, we all know that. But inside, how do you feel? I was talking to another friend of mine who's pretty well known in the entertainment industry here in Los Angeles. And she was telling me about a director she once worked with. Wow. And um, huge movie credits. Big, huge director. 10,000 square foot home up on the... uh, Sunset Plaza, you know where that is, off of Sunset Boulevard, and it's in the hill looking down on Sunset Boulevard and overlooking the city. Gorgeous. I mean, you got to have uh, uh, Paris Hilton, all those people, a lot of celebrities live up there. But apparently this man is so lonely. He sits in a 10,000 square foot home drinking every night by himself. He'll go to work. He'll direct a film. He's okay working. At the end of the day, he's got it all alone. Now, I don't know if she's got it all alone, but you can only run so so far before it catches up with you. You bottom out. She's going to hit bottom. We're going to hear about it. Well, you'll hear about it first, and you'll tell me. Just like I said, I think she's going to go to jail. Now we've got this issue. Now her her newest co-host, and and I like her, Mm -hmm. uh, is on the far right. In the With white. the curls. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, she looks fun. She looks happy. But um, Tasha's going to hit her. She, not physically, but she's going to insult her to bring her down. There won't be the... Um, they'll get along for a while, but then she, this one might start out shining her, and she's not going to like it. Do you know what I mean? The imbalance where she might take over or attract more um, attention. Oh, wow. Which may take the limelight off of her. You'll see. I'll bet you that's what's going to happen. A lot of that, it's going to be competitive rather than um, it may may become more combative. It's hard. It's really hard. Like I've got two new shows coming out soon where I've got a show host on a Tuesday and a show host on a Wednesday. Then I do my show on Thursday. All of it's changing. Then I'll bring you back on and you and I do this. I mean, you know, we're all out there. But Tasha's going to be a little more, um, she's okay with the show host now, but something's going to change where I think the show host is going to catch on or feel something or sense something or say something that's going to tick her off. And they're not going to, I don't see longevity. So let's watch it. I mean, long can be, you know, six, nine, 10 months, but let's just see how this plays out. Because right now the momentum is growing, but with all this negative drama, lies deceit it's almost like she's doing it for prestige though it's her shtick to be in trouble to create more news for her channel Mm. it's almost like a backwards narcissistic move do you know what i'm saying it's like here's another thing to get in trouble for let's keep adding this to it's almost like she wants all this attention but it's negative but it's still positive because she's still making money somewhere. True. I, I get she's it. still growing, but it's almost like an act. Well, I will say this and, and then I, I got to give you some breaking news. I'll just say this, you know, according to Latasha, I'm never going to be anything. And I'm just going to politely say I disagree. <laughs> but you already are something. You came yes. to me three and a half years ago, and that's why I was trying to say and build up your esteem and your ego and to all your listeners out there. Mine too. There's a few. 
that you've grown in the last three and a half years. Your health has changed. Your body's changed. Your persona has changed. Your skin has changed. You're not just in it for the physical adulation. You take care of the mind, body, spirit naturally. You're not under the knife once a year. You're exercising at the gym. You're taking nutritional supplements. You go to different spiritual advisors. I'm not the only person you talk to. You do have celebrity friends. I don't want to mention names that are off this platform. Um, you're also close to your family, certain members of your family, your mom. I mean, I know enough about Storm Monroe, folks, that he's a good person. Yes, he will climb. And I've said in your 30s, you're going to really hit it. Give him another couple of years. It's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. But sometimes it's the, you know, you're, you're just climbing. But every time a punching bag or a um, wrecking ball hits, you're down for a day, you talk, you try to get your head together, and you bounce back up. You're very resilient. A lot of people can't take it. A lot sure. of people leave or a lot of people don't understand that it's entertainment, but yeah. there is a line of viciousness. Like enough. I had the bullying online when I was or on radio. I know what that feels like, but I'm still here. I'm still here. Yeah. That one was on Larry King and that one was on who's now dead or that one was on this TV show or ghost hunting. I know a lot of people that made it and it's like, well, what about me? Well, six months from now, I'll be able to say what's going on. I was at my dad's yesterday, my, and um, my mom and dad, when my mom was alive, they, they would buy art from all over the world. And there was this picture of um, Mount Fuji painting sitting behind my dad on the wall. And, and I said, like, Dad, it's kind of like climbing up Mount Fuji. I said, I'm getting to the top but it's all coming at the same time. I've done this, 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 and then all of a sudden it's merging. And I will tell the listeners at some point when I have enough proof to say, here it is, what I've been working on for 30 years beyond just doing readings or the candles or whatnot, but you will hear. And sometimes it's the slow climb as opposed to the immediate rush and then you fall. How many people have a one hit song or yes. how many people, you know, they have one movie and they're, they're blacklisted and then they have tons of movies and songs or writing or something. Now they're dying or they've got um, diseases that you never heard of and they're losing their fame and fortune and money and family and health or they're dead. You get there. Is it karma? Is it Illuminati? Is it, something we don't know about you you pay a price to get there and stay there yes or you might lose the footing i don't know there's certain levels i don't want to know about it's a little scary to me do i want more absolutely is it part of my journey absolutely did i take a path that was really probably not part of my path. Yeah, because I was offered two record deals and a comedy contract in the 80s and 90s, and I rejected all of them and went for the spiritual. I don't know why I wasn't ready or scared or whatever happened. It was a dream, a goal. I had the talent, but I said no. So I paid the price to be way behind, quote, the average but I've been helping people and there's a fulfillment in helping, not just making somebody laugh or say, Oh, I love your song. And you know, hundred thousand people in a stadium and then they go home because they're drunk and loaded and oh, they love this song and buy albums. Even the music industry today, it's not the same. Everything's online. You got to download another app and you got to get more likes and you got to pay for this song. It's not like it was used to go with, with records and CD before CDs. We had a track and four track and you know it's just the evolution of but it's work it's still work and when it's your time it's your time i agree you know i, I i'm not where i want to be at my age but there's that saying you're right where you're supposed to be not everybody's in a plane crash it took years for me to heal from being in the traumatic situation i couldn't function i didn't know where i was going i didn't understand god i don't know why they came psychic there wasn't google <laughs> to say what's going on 
You know, so people who don't know me don't understand the backstory, you know, that I went through a lot of hell. So all my friends were out of school, getting married, becoming yuppies, wealthy. Now they're retired, and I'm like, well, I'm still working. I'm not, you know, it's people judge and criticize a lot of the times because it's something they're lacking. So Latasha is probably seeing something in you she lacks. And I think it's your humbleness, your soul, your spirit, your beauty, your kindness, and your authenticity. You asked, what do I see when she's in that beautiful yellow dress? A pose. Mm. Not a photo, a pose. I can do that. I've had plenty of pictures taken. I've been on TV. I've been on radio for a long time. I can go get a gorgeous dress, but I may not feel made up. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in her, but she's breaking you don't get rid of your husband and file lies to the IRS and hide money in Africa if you're not honest. You're right. The, you you're know, right. the hornet's nest is being uncovered and she's still, she's lying to the IRS. Or she's lying to the government. You do not play with the IRS. I filed bankruptcy to save a house. When I, as you know, when I had my infomercial and I paid Chris Jenner $25,000 to do my infomercial on Wix of Wisdom in 06 before she had keeping up with the Kardashians and everything that could go wrong with the show went wrong because of internal issues. And I ended up selling my house because I took a loan against the house to help pay for the investors and keep the show going and then i lost i couldn't do it all alone nobody can then at the same time my mother died and cbs radio quit uh uh talk radio i lost everything at once that's a lot of burden she's going through a very similar thing she's losing everything at once the thing i know what that feels like where it's crushing and depressing and and overwhelming but she's still coming out with a face of like, it's okay. And she's not really affected. Uh, uh I've been through something similar. I filed bankruptcy. So the house didn't foreclose. I ended up fighting it and winning. And now it's off my record, but it's not a fun place to be. She's doing it to hide. She's doing it to deceive. Mm -hmm. She has assets where they are. We don't know. Husband, family, friends, overseas, sold. She's not broke. This woman is far from broke. She could well, probably pay Cardi without an issue. Yeah, but she she's not though, and that's and that's fine. <laughs> She'll deal with the consequences. <laughs> yes, she will. It'll boomerang. It will uh -huh. boomerang. But speaking of that, we have some breaking news. Madonna is hospitalized for serious bacterial infection. Okay. This is where I'm getting a little confused about like we were just saying about celebrities and some of these illnesses that you've never heard of. Bruce Willis, Celine Dion, Jamie Foxx. I sent you that article. Did you read the back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know if we should touch upon that folks we can't, yeah yeah we can't not on their the show no 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 we can't do yeah. that but there, there may be some controversial um actions with certain people places and things that mainstream media is not able to justify now let's see madonna with the icu i hope she gets better they find out what it is um or, and is it kind of like the others where it's been known along the way for certain celebrities to hit a certain level mm. and they're taken off the platform of fame and fortune and they kind of retire in front of our faces and not all of them literally die a lot of them are like under a protection witness protection kind of program where they have facelifts in thailand or they retire in some little town outside the limelight because they paid their dues 
-hmm. and they're done. I'm not saying that's what's happening to Madonna, so please, people, don't say Dr. Linda's sad. But because of the controversies and because of the way things have been over the last few years, one, I don't wish anybody ill, ever. Um, there are ways to get rid of bacterial, viral, and parasitical infections with something that's non-pharmaceutical, but I'm not going to say it on the air because it's too simple. I might get caught for, you know, practicing medicine without a license or something, but um, I hope she's okay. But let's just keep note as to what happens to her. Is she done? Will she get back out there? Is she going to be okay? Look what happened at the Grammy. She, what, she just had that facelift or something. Everybody thought she looked funny. And now she looks okay again. So who knows what she's gone through this year. She's already, she's been in the news a lot. Her she age, has. her look, now she's sick. It could be kind of the retiring of Madonna. I don't know. But that's how I feel. Not sure. Don't want to put my name on it. But... We'll see behind the scenes as this story unfolds. So did that just hit while we were on the air right um, now? It happened at one twelve your time. Okay, and it's 2.10, so an hour ago. Because yep. you're online, I'm not. I'm talking to us, them. Yeah. Uh, so whatever. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Well, It'll be interesting to follow. I hope it, she's okay. It, it would. Dr. Linda, tell the people where they can find you. They can always find me at drlindaradio.com and listen 24 hours a day or my YouTube channel, which is Dr. Linda Salvin. Of course, the website, lindasalvin.com. Readings, healings, candle magic, spiritual and uh, uh, integrative health products, which you're on. Yeah. Anything to help you feel better, do better and share your own star. Uh, it's a storm show. Uh, it's a storm show.